Hello and welcome to Provis Gaming and The Last Federation. So I want to apologize about the last couple of videos that I released. I was reviewing some of the footage and uh, it turns out starting recording at around midnight is probably not a good idea. So I'm going to try to keep things a little bit more perky and coherent this time around. Just not up to my usual standards. All right. So where do we leave off? Right. So the Thoraxians have three planets under their control. We are uh, still waiting to get leverage with the Burlusts. And I did move over to the Acutian homeworld to kind of see what it would take in order to get them to join the Federation. A little bit hard to say, you could have them vote to join an existing Federation. And in order to do that, I have to have 150 influence with the race. Currently we are at negative 160, so that would be pretty difficult. Not impossible, just really freaking difficult. Uh, join Federation when militarily supreme. Turns out they can also be smug little tin cans. If the Federation exists without them, and they have at least ten times larger space military than any other race in the solar system, they'll be willing to join the Federation on easier terms than normal. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, but basically, yeah. I mean, if we wanted to make the Acutians ten times more powerful than anyone else in the galaxy, then uh, they would totally join. I keep saying galaxy. I mean to say solar system. Overwhelming attack. Uh, currently, they are not under an overwhelming attack. But, if I were to buff up the Burlusts for a bit so that they were under an overwhelming attack, perhaps I could get them to join. Of course, then I would have to defend them against the Burlusts for a little while, which could be difficult. Desolate Economy. If they have negative 2,000. Yeah, you can see a pattern here. There are a lot of races that are willing to join a Federation if they are absolutely pummeled into oblivion on certain um, some certain aspects. The Acutians, it's all about the economy. For the Thoraxians, it's about, what was it, medicine? I think it was, something like that. Either way, you could do that. Totally could do that. It's a hostile action. I could do, 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 do. undermine local economy. It would cost me one to two credit per month, and I could just sit here forever and just run it into the ground. It would work. It's not the best way to do things, but it would technically work. Let's see. The one thing I really do not want to happen is the Thoraxians conquering another world. So... If they see an attack of opportunity against, say, the Burlusts, who currently have no Armada power or the Acutians, who are under attack, then we would have a problem. We'll have to keep an eye on that. I don't think there's anything we can do about it for at least a little while, and we have to wait a few months, and by a few months, I mean like 60 solar months, before we can do another duel with the Burlusts and try to get them to join the Federation from leverage. There is a boring freighter distress call out, and it has been for a while. It would gain us 1,400 credit, and we would gain some resources for saving a freighter, so eh, whatever. The quest has been around for a very long time, but I guess we'll just now pick it up. It's fine. Who's worried? Let's get a little bit of shields. Um, so these appear to be just some standard pirates. Okay, fine. We'll just switch over to our energy blaster, and uh, we'll take a few shots at you deliberately. There we go. You specifically is what I meant to say. Uh, okay, that's a lot of damage we're taking right now. How about we switch to Operation Wolf? We'll block out that bullet hell and see if we can't get some extra reinforcements to do something. Ouch! They actually managed to blow us up. Pirates, it turns out, are dangerous. Okay, well, actually this is a okay time to tell you just what happens when you die. Unless you are dueling a Burlust Warlord, what'll happen is basically you'll just warp out at the last second. And it'll take 12 solar months to retreat and make our repairs, which kind of sucks. Yeah. Looks like the Boreans lost some economic power, which sucks. And we are going to have to waste 19 months without anything happening in the galaxy, hopefully. Anyone do anything crazy? Anyone? No? Okay. Boreans managed to have some tech breakthroughs. That's pretty cool. The Thoraxians have a stockpile. Don't care about that. The Acutians are constructing a manufacturing outpost. I could steal that. Failed the quest of the Boreans... Ah, yeah, about those boring freighters. That was a fiasco, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Tech research by the Acutians. Bomblet submunitions. Orbital bombardment by ships in orbit around enemy planets gain a plus two boost to their effectiveness. Point two boost, I should say. And there is a new hydral signal, although I won't do those right now. You know some things you can do right now are probably totally 100% screw over the Acutians. The question is, do we want to screw over the Acutians, or do we actually want to make them join the Federation? Is that going to be possible? Can we make the Acutians join the Federation eventually? It's entirely possible that we could. You know, other things we could do is probably like steal their factories and stuff. It's kind of a fun thing you can do. Capture manufacturing outpost. I'll lose 60 influence with them, so, you know, obviously that's not a good thing if I have any interest in making them join the Federation. 
huh, what are some things that we could do? What if I wanted the Acutians to join? Right? What if I just wanted them to join? Hmm. Well, right now, the scientific industry is in charge. Convince other race, no. Desolate economy, overwhelming attacks, or vote. I either have to get 150 influence with them, or I need to make the Acutians weak enough or the Burlusts strong enough that they are being under overwhelming attack, and then they might be willing to join. I think that we... Here's what we're going to do, alright? Ready? This is going to be a little bit tricky. They hate us anyway. It's going to take absolutely forever to make them like us. 150 influence is pretty hard to get. What we can do is we are going to attack the Acutians. We are going to weaken them so that they have no choice but to join the Federation in face of the Burlust threat. That will be their last-ditch effort to survive. So, if we attack the local armadas with help from the Burlusts, right... The Acutians will be very unhappy with that. That's to be expected. I don't really care. Well, wait. I should actually double-check this before I do anything. I should make sure that we don't have any influence requirements if we're going to make them join from overwhelming attacks. You must have at least zero influence with the race. Ah. That, never mind. Okay, that would be a problem. Hmm. So it seems to me that I either have to get them to like me a bit more, or I have to destroy their economy. That's, that's pretty much my only option, yeah? Or, I could say, screw you, Acutians, go ahead and die. I hope you all suffer in a horrible, horrible way. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Genocide? Do I like genocide? Am I totally okay with genocide and handing these guys over to the Burlusts? Not until the Burlusts have joined the Federation, I'm not. So we're going to sit tight for a little while, and we're going to develop some technology, make sure that the Federation has a technological advantage. Let's go to the Boreans for now. We will see if we can learn from the race. Gene splicing will only take five solar months. I am totally okay with that. Speed right through it. Perfect. Doesn't look like anything has happened in the meantime. Friendly acts. Cooperative research. What are some things we could use? Advanced subatomic weapons. Don't people have that? I think someone does. Advanced subatomic. No, nobody has advanced subatomic weapons right now. Okay. You know one thing I could do? All right, here's the thing. I think the Acutians are going to have to die. I, I don't see any good way to do it. I don't feel like sitting here forever and just destroying their economy. It would take forever. And who knows, in the meantime, the Thraxians might actually get a fourth planet. I don't want that to happen. So I don't think that's going to happen. Um, and I don't think that I'm going to be able to convince them to join by any other means from overwhelming attack. I just won't get enough influence to make it work. So I think genocide is in order. So we're going to go to the Acutian homeworld, right? We're going to do a hostile act. We are going to recruit an informant. That is going to cost us 1,000 credit. We'll gain an informant on their world, so execute the deal. Perfect. And now, we can raid the planet, or raid one of their uh, convoys to steal technology. We can even choose, specifically, what kind of technology we want. So, we can steal the Acutian economy! <laughs> they have a special racial technology, which was introduced with the Lost Technologies expansion. And in this case, it means that the economy changes by 0 0.004 every month. Or I could steal the bomblet submunitions, which means that the orbital bombardment of the Federation will be more effective, which is going to be good for when we want to take out the Thraxians. So I want to steal orbital bombs. I'm going to spend 100 credit. They're going to hate me more. Don't care. And we are going to steal their technology. So let's take the action. Now we have to dock with an orbital science lab. Where's an orbital science lab? That is not. That is a radial scanner. That is an orbital science lab. Perfect. It's far away from all the Acutians. I don't care. Who are these guys? Burlusts. Ah, right. Hi, Burlusts. I'm not going to get in your way. Don't you worry. Uh, let's see. What's the safest avenue here? Probably just punching straight through here, to be honest. So let's get a little shield power off and get some engine power. We'll go this direction, Energy Blaster. We're going to target your missile launcher specifically while we can. Pew, 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 There we go. No more missiles, thank you very much. We'll switch to Auto Fire, and we're going to blow up all these little... Oh, gosh, hi, buddy. You're getting a little bit close for comfort there. Let's switch off weapons, because I no longer need it. Let's switch to all shields, so I can just sit here and tank the fire for a little while. And, uh, we're, yeah, we're just going to sit here, and uh, we're not going to we're not gonna feel intimidated by these Acution Executors. Just because you name your ship an executor doesn't mean that you're actually going to execute me. I will have you know. That is a, uh, that is a common misconception 
but I am not afraid. I only need to sit here for two more turns. In the meantime, my shields are tanking a lot of damage. No problem. Bam. We've just stolen technology. Excellent. So now, it, uh, okay, now here's the cool thing you have to notice. Well, I say cool. You have to note that anytime you steal technology, the credit cost for future informants will go up from that race. So if I want to get another technology and steal that, it's going to cost me 1,200 credit instead of 1,000. And so on and so forth. In the meantime, though, we just stole some very valuable technology. Let's go to the Boreens. Oh, who researched something? Quantum computers from the Andors. This race gains 1.2 to its ship effectiveness modifier. Oh, good. If the whole Federation doesn't have that already, I want them to. Let's take a quick look-see. Uh, quantum computers. Nope, it's currently just the Andors. Okay, let's go to the Andors real quick. Let's see if we can learn from them. I want to learn those quantum computers. Thank you. And we will gift all of this to the Federation. Make sure that they are nice and strong. So, friendly actions. Let's gift some technology. I can't give you the... Why can't I give you that? Hang on a second. Bombs. Orbital bombs. Bomblet submunitions. Oh, Andors can't learn this. The Boreans can. The Pelshians can. Just not the Andors specifically. Okay, that's fine. Let's go to the Boreans. Let's give them some technology. I will give you your quantum computers to make you more effective. And I will give you orbital bombs to make you more effective. Excellent. So their fleet power should go up a little bit. We have Burlust Pirates that are currently raiding the Boreans. We're going to want to deal with that. In fact, let's go ahead and deal with that right now. So let's defend against invader armies. Uh, looks like there's just one stupid ship hanging around here. So we will target you with my energy blaster. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, you're being held, are you? Well, where do you go? Oh, wait. my I just real. Oh, my... God, the Gravity Lance, though. That thing freaking hurt. Not a fan of that. Let's see. One flagship remaining. Uh, it says the Energy Blaster is still the most effective way of dealing with this, but I'm pretty sure that these satellite defenses have got it. I mean, really, look at this. You know, it's nice to be on the other side of the bullet hell once in a while. Jeez. This thing... There we go. I was going to say, it is surviving pretty well considering the, what it's up against. All right. So the Burlist Pirates are gone. Boreans should be fine. Friendly actions. Were there any other technologies that I want to give you? Let's take a quick look-see. Digital sentience. Economy changes. Public order changes. Let's go ahead and give them digital sentience. And they have currently a negative environmental effect going on. Is there any technology I can give them that will fix that? Public order. Yeah. Synthetic fossil flu... Fl uh, flues? Synthetic fossil flues? No, fuels. Should have the damage that this negative trend is going to do, in theory. Uh, unless they have to build that. Do they have to? Possibly. Let's do some property development and take a quick look. Um, doesn't seem so. Space-based telescope. Science research speed, blah, blah, blah. Lots of things that I could build with these guys. It would take quite a while, but we could do it. Bomb shelters and so on. Enhanced research center. These are RCIs, which are various different planetary improvements, usually passive in some way. For example, Planetary History and Museum. Everything increases by 0 .016 every month. University, five months. Economy, medical, environment. Yeah, lots of little things you can do to try and make sure that they are in a constant, stable position. All right, let's go to the Pelshians and make sure we give them the technology before I forget, because I am prone to do things like that. Quantum computers seems good. And let's give them bomblet submunitions as well. Perfect. So, how are we looking for our Federation? Andors only have one armada, so they're pretty weak. Boreans have five. Pelshians, amazingly, have seven. Despite having the weakest soldiers, they actually have some pretty decent armada power. We could try to improve the economy or something in a few of these different planets. Help them construct some armadas directly. That could certainly work. Let's go over to the Burlusts real quick, because I want to find out how much longer it'll take until we can duel them again. 36 months, you say. All right. That should be fine. The Andors built a science something. It's basically an orbital space station. We actually can control these. Uh, Hydrals can steal these things from the opponents and um, take them for ourselves. They can be conquered, just like planets and other things like that. This, by the way, I've never actually pointed this out. This here is the black market. We should probably just take a quick look here. You can negotiate with mercenaries here. And uh, it will spend a lot of credit, but you will buy some various different technology. For example, buy one random special ability you have no idea what it's going to be. Or you can specify, I want to spend a little bit more credit to buy an offensive technology, an operations or specialty thing. Or even a special hydral weapon. Yeah. 
They won't let us see where, what it is, so we have no idea what we're going to get, we just know it's expensive as heck. This is also where you would buy some various different goons. For example, spend 600 credit in order to gain one construction worker. When next time you decide to buy or build a uh, building, it will reduce the co uh, time by one month for every goon that you have. And then their contract is up and you have to pay for them again. So it costs a lot of credit, but it can speed things up. Which is kind of important. Your outpost security force? I'm not really sure what that's supposed to be. Personal dispatch. I can do my own personal development of a space outpost. Or I can do my own research. Notice how long it'll take, by the way. As opposed to if I did it with another race as help. I could sell my prisoners. I have a bunch of Acutians. What if I sold 31 of them into slavery? The Burlusts and the Pelshians, amazingly, would love this. The Boreans and the Andors would not be impressed with me at all, though. What about the Evoks? They're extinct now, right? They're practically, like, super rare. Yeah, that would gain me a bit of credit. I actually wouldn't lose too much with the Andors and the Boreans. Eh, yeah, screw it, I'm gonna do it for the credit. I'm gonna sell the last five Evoks into, uh, into, into slavery. Bam. There we go, that's kind of a horrible thing to do. Buy a bribe in item of interest to the Acutians, Boreans, and so on. That's several thousand credits, sell resources, blah, blah, blah. And we can do combat practice if we want, where we'll select a whole bunch of different ships, and we'll just try to blow them all up. I don't think we care that much about combat practice, but, you know, it's an option for us. All right, what were we going to do, right? Uh, we were going to go to, let's say, the Boreans, for example. We're going to do friendly action with them. And we are going to help them build a space outpost. Now, this is going to take several months. We can help them build a military outpost, which improves the ground combat skills and space combat skills of the Borings. Uh, we could help them build a science outpost, which will help them uh, research technology faster. Or we can help them build a manufacturing outpost, which increases the production speed of other outposts. And let's see, what else? Just other outposts? Let's see. Improves the ship production speed. Ah. This is probably for building other armadas and so on. The military outpost is probably a good thing for them, but it's going to take a long time, you know? So what we could do, right, is hire some construction workers. Now this costs 600 credit each. So let's suppose we wanted to buy like 30. That would cost me 18,000 credit. That's a lot bit more than I want to spend, but we are, we're going to do it anyway just for, like, proving my points. But we're going to spend 18,000 credit to hire 30 construction workers from the black market. So let's hire them. Perfect. Now have 30. And then we're going to do space outposts, military outposts. Look at that. It's only going to take four months instead of 34 months. Now, again, this is going to cost us what? Anything else? Actually, not much. Just four months of time. Pretty easy. Let's go ahead and speed that up. And... Bam, the Boreans now have a military outpost, which will increase their effectiveness pretty much everywhere. That's pretty nice. I could also go forth and steal these factories from the Acutians. I mean, they're going to hate me more. Do I care if they hate me? Not really. Ooh, Scalaxian pirates are over here as well. Yeah, we could just go steal their factories and just give them to the other races. I mean, that's okay. Looks like the Burlusts just researched bomblet submunitions as well. Hmm... Action ended. Construct manufacturing outpost. Hmm? Who built a... It says the Burlusts did one, but I didn't build one for the Burlusts. I helped the Boreans. What are you talking about? That's definitely not right. Okay. So what if we go to the Acutians here, for example? I mean, we're just going to screw over the Acutians at this point, because I don't think there's any way I'm going to get them into the Federation. So let's go ahead and see if we can capture their manufacturing outpost. We need to dock with all of the manufacturing outpost enclosures. Holy crap, what is that thing? It's a Hydral ship. Hydral Shadow Research Facility. On capture, the shadow attribute is applied to your flagship for 15 turns. This makes your flagship invisible to enemies, as well as having their shots pass right through you. Really now? Oh, that's interesting, isn't it? Very interesting. So, okay. I mean, 15 turns is pretty good. That said, though, it's going to take me several turns to get over here and activate it, so it probably is still more effective just to go down here and blow everything up, but... Huh. Okay, well, we're going to go over here instead, and we're going to continue to blow things up. Uh, I don't think that the Acutians are going to be able to do much of anything to defend themselves, so we just have to destroy all the satellite defenses. Switch to a bit of... There we go. 
range for our weapons. And we'll just auto-fire and blow everything up. I don't really care all that much, let's be honest. We just want to sit here and dock for a bit. I should probably switch to the minigun and see if we can shoot down some of these interceptors. I'm going to stick to auto-fire because I don't think it really matters beyond that. And we're just going to speed right through this action. Okay, only a couple of turns to go. See, we're just sitting here and tanking it all and none of that even matters. It's fine. There we go. Bam. Didn't even have to blow much up. End combat. The Acutians are extremely angry, but we captured one of their factories. And now it is actually owned by the Hydrals. These are one of the few things that we actually can control. So, for example, we can do um, our own research. And if this were a scientific one, a scientific platform, we actually would be able to research it a little bit faster than otherwise. We could gift the outpost to somebody. And I don't really feel like we have a lot of use for a manufacturing outpost. Let's see. You can gift it away or use it for outsourcing contracts. Improves the ship production speed at all outposts, blah, blah, blah. Um, use it to boost your own manufacturing skills. I don't really see why we would want to do that. What would I want to manufacture? No. We're going to gift the outpost to, let's say, the Pelchians. Yeah? Sure. That's worth a fair bit of influence with them and a couple of voting proxies. And there we go. So now the Pelchians own a manufacturing outpost, which I don't know what it's going to do for them way out here, but they're not going to be able to move it. So I'm kind of hoping that this is still going to affect their ability to construct armadas and so on and so forth. All right, but I think that's going to have to be enough for this video. So thank you guys for watching. This has been Provis. Oh, there's the Burlust thing. I was wondering what that was. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Provis with The Last Federation. If you enjoyed this video, then hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I, as always, will see you guys next time.